Well, new and re-elected members joined the Hazelton School Board at its reorganization Tuesday night. As Samantha Galvez tells us, while they may have differing opinions on how to run the district, they're all committed to working together. I, I never thought my wildest dreams when I started working in a school district in 1978 that one day I'd become board president. After serving two years on the school board, retired teacher Robert Wallace was named president of the Hazelton Area School Board. Listen, I love kids. I went into education because I love kids. I taught for 34 years. Uh, I think we have a great chance of impacting the future of our children, and uh, that's why I'm here. Following Wallace's induction was the formal seating of new directors James Chapman and Jared O'Donnell and re-election of Robert Mahalik and Clarence John. Largely, I think that this is going to be a very successful four years for me and uh, two years for some of the other board members. All of us are here for one reason, and that's for the, for the students of our school district. So. The Teachers Association is very excited because the four candidates that we endorsed all were elected in this past election, so we really have a lot of high hopes for a lot of positive relationships with the teachers and the board. And while Wallace may be the head of the school board, he says it's a team effort that will move the district forward to where it needs to be. You know, as a board president, I'm no different than the other eight members. You know, all of us are in this together. It's just that I have the title. And it's important that the nine of us stay on target and do what's best for our kids. Wallace says he plans to continue working on the overcrowded classroom problem as well as establishing a district alternative program. As for former President Brian Early, he says he feels relieved taking a step down to focus on other things while he still has two years left on the board. I think he's going to be fair, I think he's going to be honest, he's going to treat everybody with respect, which is exactly what you know I tried to do you know, during my years as the board president. And while some opposing views still remain among board members, Early says it's these differences the board needs. Well, I think you always have to have divergent views, um, you know, and it's how we take those opposing views as a board and then put it together for the betterment of the Hazelton Area School District. Despite any conflicting views, one thing community members can be sure of is that all nine board members are working for the kids. I'm looking forward to it and I just hope to do as good a job as Brian has done in the last two years and carry on with what we've been doing. Samantha Galvez, News 13, Hazelton.